welcome to the next video tutorial in this video tutorial uh, I will design a view section in previous video tutorial I have complete my controller section uh, the label is used for the name to display the names now use a select list with the ID is country ID that is the tile helper name is country list ASP4 is referred to the ID and ASP items or item literal direct directives you can say new select list and the select list we have uh, we have countries in a view back section so you view back dot countries view back dot countries a single quotation id and the name property it's too much simple to design a select list using tag helper in ASP.NET Core. This is the video tutorial to show the cascading drop down list, and that section is a view section. If you want to set the default value in the country that you set in the option that is select any one country from the given list select country name also use for the states so state ID state list ASP items In place of country, you can use string dot empty because a state table populated with from country tables. Now, come to the script part that is Ajax. Script jQuery one point ten point two actually remove the ww root called from here yeah that's the fine script first to get the country list and by the country list you can use a change function country id dot by using the id property you can get uh, any element html and apply on change function change function is also generated when we change anyone then call to the url so set the URL here, variable URL and also call the getJSON method. In a getJSON method we have three parameters actually. First one is URL and second one is the parameter in the square brackets and you can say curly braces and the third parameter is used for the data okay so the URL is getting from the controller name and also the JSON method name
here we have a cascade uh, name of the controller that is already done in previous video tutorial and get stayed by id is a action method name that is already also that is uh, done in previous video so url dot content that is root and the controller name is cascade and the method name is get state by id the method name is get state by id that is the final url actually now get the actual ddl source that is country and ddl source that is country id okay now call the json method for doing this dollar sign dot get json In which we have three parameters that is URL and success. I mean to say the parameters in a controller section. We have in action method we have single parameter that is ID. That's it. Curly process. Calibrate as ID success data any text status strings jQuery XHR horizontal ID colon and the ID comes from the DDL source. The value of the TDL source. Dot well. Okay, that's fine. Now, URL is there, parameter is there, and the data comes from in a function. So use a function and the data. When pass the URL the value that is ddl source the data comes from the get json uh, result json in the function data after doing this we can apply function apply loops on the data variable items is now dollar sign first to empty the list of state dot empty now after doing that use dollar sign dot each function applied on the data and function index or the number i is the index number and the data in the row items plus equals to that is add by value operator to get data option the value and the tax and set
the row dot value double quotation single quotation close text row row text you know that the each items as a type of option of the select list now after doing this you can use dot html to embed that tag in the select list so first of all get the state id element in jquery and that use html insert of the option tag that is uh, that is have an items variable a dollar sign dot state id dot html that's your video items so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep uh, please uh, subscribe my channel if you like this video and also share this video you can see your result first to change your startup file that is already have cascade controller and done this so yeah america united states is los angeles and all right so thank you thank you very much again you can see your code here and that is the view section script part also you can see your controller section thank you again